Hi, my name is Michael Schmalley. I own Teody Graphics LLC, and I'm talking about getting started with the Caustic Core. Okay, the Caustic Core is the sound engine that Caustic 3 will now run on, and we talk to it with OSC, Open Sound Control Stream Commands. I've written a whole framework around those commands in Java to make it very easy to create audio applications. More comes down to application logic and you're not really messing with the audio engine, it just works. Okay, first thing you need to do is go to the Android SDK, download it, developer.android.com. Download the bundle, I recommend the 32-bit. Okay, once you have that downloaded, extract it. As you can see, I extracted it in a dev folder on the C drive in Android. Usually I don't put stuff on the C drive, but I did. Because Android doesn't install it. I mean, Eclipse doesn't install it, you just run it. Okay, you open this up, you'll notice there's an Eclipse folder and an SDK folder. Eclipse, that's your EXE. This holds the runnable program of the ADT. The SDK holds the build tools and the platforms. This one ships with Android 18, which is 4.2 something, I think. Okay, so you take send that to your desktop so you can use it, and then start Eclipse. Start it up. Okay, as you can see, it's asking you to select a workspace. This is just a place to hold your project files. I just selected my user and caustic so we'll just press OK this will create a directory if it doesn't exist the workbench loads up and now we have an empty workspace so what we need to do is get some code to fill our projects Okay, so now we need the source code. So you need to go to github.com slash Graphics. This is my user account. As you can see, I have been very busy working on Caustic. Hit repositories. Caustic SDK is where this is located. And you're going to scroll down and on the right, click download zip. Which, as you can see, I already did. And it's caustic sdk develop dot zip that holds all the source codes and all the project samples that you're going to use and that I have available so once you've downloaded all this stuff extract it I just extract it on the desktop as a folder and you'll get the caustic sdk develop folder that holds all that stuff so now back to Eclipse, we have an empty workspace that needs projects. So, um, Android needs to be imported a special way because I don't save the project in ClassPath files for Eclipse. So, we're going to right click in the Project Explorer, New, Other, and you'll see that you want to go to Android and expand it and select Android project from existing code next we'll browse to the desktop caustic ex the project you extracted with the git repositories those are the in folders we select that one okay and now we have we only want unclick hello caustic controller unclick groove station GDX and we want caustic okay and then I'm gonna re we rename this one to hello caustic I don't know why it uses the activity name and not the original project but so this is gonna import these two projects this is the main project this is a sample project so hit finish now we've got that imported as you can see, all the source code is here. Major amounts of it. And then we have the source code for the sample project. The only reason the exclamation mark is there is we're still building the workspace. 
This may take longer for you. It might actually have to load the SDK on first run. Okay, now quickly, um, we have double click the source folder and this package com hello caustic and main activity. And this has the code that will run the first example. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go into detail right now what an activity is and all this, but just know that these classes right here are sending string messages to the Caustic Sound Engine, and that this super class is turning on the Sound Engine and turning off the Sound Engine when you open the app and press the back button and all that. It takes care of all that stuff. So we've got the activation key that the super class uses to verify and this this key this hex key right here lasts until December 1st so we are sending a create message and you can hover over stuff to see we're creating a type subsynth naming it my subsynth at index 0 we're sending note data and you can see start pitch velocity end flags these are beats so this one is sending a note at 1 to 1 1.5 so the gate time is 0.5 of a beat which would be 4 steps and 16 step no 2 steps and MIDI pitch 60 so middle C middle C and then we're sending an output panel BPM message setting the BPM at 75 and then we are playing it using a 1 play is one zero is stop now mind you all this stuff is abstracted and hidden with the framework that I'll show you in some videos coming up you won't ever really have to use this stuff but it's a good starting point to know where it all comes from now I can't show you the device but you probably can hear it you'll right click run Android application okay and if you don't, you're going to have to set up a virtual device or you use your vi device, but you're going to have to have the USB driver. That's another tutorial, which is on the Internet. Um, so I'll select my Zoom, old school, and then OK. And then the build tools are pushing it up through the USB cord onto my tablet. And now we have liftoff. The heartbeat of caustic. So you can hear those two notes right there. We have created sound in caustic. Okay, well, um, that does it for now. I'm going to try to be, this was a really broad, broad, broad. Um, I will be way more point specific in future ones, um, if not just to talk to myself and validate what I have been doing for months. Um, thanks for listening and... Hope you enjoyed this, even if you're not a programmer. I think it's pretty interesting. Talk to you later.